Hi y'all, welcome back to my shop. Now, I'm not going to get into the usual, you know, click and subscribe because most of you watching this video are already subscribers. Uh, it turns out these little turning tip videos or videos where I just discuss uh, something don't get promoted very very much on on YouTube and they don't reach too many new subscribers but but I, I had this you know it's tax season I told y'all I'm gonna be busy and I'm gonna be able to get out uh, uh, tip videos probably every week but I want to give this shout out to DI, DIY Dark Matter uh, he, he commented on a previous uh, video about headgear and you know and he sent me to Amazon for this thing. I'd never heard of these things before. He called them he called them scullies. I'm not a I'm not a cyclist. I don't ride a, a motorcycle. But it turns out you can buy these this, these little uh, uh, I call them uh, pre pre tied do rags that are great. And he sent me to a site on Amazon, uh, uh, and I just want to share these with you because they really beat the heck out of bandanas. Now you can turn on different things in your shop. I start off, I went several years without wearing anything on my shop. And at night, I'm getting ready for bed, I'm combing my hair and getting all these shavings out of my hair. It was kind of a, kind of a mess. Uh, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, just wearing a baseball cap if you're, if you're turning with safety glasses is, is not bad. Uh, and that'll keep stuff out of the air. But, Unfortunately, that doesn't work with a face shield, so you got to come up with something else. Uh, the last, uh, once I started wearing something regularly, I started wearing a bandana. Yeah, I had that in an earlier video showing you how to tie a, tie a do-rag. And, and these work great. They're, they're inexpensive, and I wound up, I've got a bunch of them, so it's easy to keep throwing them in the dish, uh, into the uh, clothes hamper, getting them washed. And while I'm waiting, I've got several others to... Uh, to, to use and I can take them off and put them on several times before they come loose and I got to re retie them but I tell you what this uh, this thing that uh, DIY uh, dark matter recommended they've got these straps on them so they're so easy to put on I just really like it so I just had to share this with you because it just came in the mail today from uh, Amazon I just bought it a couple of days ago and uh, there's several of them out there, but this one, uh, I put this on my Amazon shop. I'm not necessarily trying to sell these, but I did want to share this with you because these things, I just thought, I got real excited. How often do you get excited about something like this? Uh, but it comes in three colors, this particular selection. You can pro you might find them cheaper, but I don't know. This is the cheapest set I found. There's about three of them for about ten bucks. Uh, they got uh, a, another set with different colors, uh, but this one comes in a gray and it, it, it comes with a black one like this and it also comes with a camouflage one uh, like this so I got the whole thing uh, covered they're just so much easier than bend down so I thought I want to share that that tip with you got some other things to talk about so, so don't don't click off just yet I want to give a shout out to Don Lyons uh, uh, my friend who uh, definitely supporting me through my Amazon shop because he bought a Powermatic. Uh, congratulations, Don, on your new Powermatic. I know you're gonna you're gonna love it. For those of y'all not familiar, I got an Amazon shop, and I got a link in the uh, uh, description of this video. Uh, so anything you buy, I'll get a uh, disclaimer. I'll get a small commission. It's an easy way to support my channel. Another thing I want to comment about Facebook. Uh, some of y'all use Facebook. Some of you don't. I primarily use fa my own personal Facebook. To get see pictures of my grandkids, so if y'all you know request uh, me to be a friend, don't be surprised if if I don't necessarily approve it because that's not my primary way of wanting to communicate with y'all. I do have a separate Facebook page called Mike Peace Wood Turning, so feel free to comment there or, or, or share, and you don't have to be a friend to to get on that page and and like it, and and then you can easily come back to it to it again. You know, I did a recent article on uh, Scroll Chucks 101. For wood wood turning, and I put a link out there to a, a, a fabulous article by uh, Richard Raffin, who's you know a famous wood turner from Australia, and he's just one of my heroes. I've got eight eight of his eight of his books, and and he was kind enough to grant me permission, along with the editor of, of uh, the American Wood Turner, uh, to provide that article that he did uh, a number of years ago. That's just a tremendous resource on on scroll chuck. So that that's uh, you can go out to my blog and get it, or you can go back to one of those two videos that I did, I've done on scroll chucks, uh, on chuck jaws rather, and, and link to it. But the easiest way is probably go to my, uh, my blog 
just just JGI, just Google it, Mike Peace Wood Turning, and you'll find it on uh, on Google. Another comment I'd, I want to make: if you run across any any video of mine that you find particularly interesting, be sure to come back two or three late, uh, uh, two or three days later, because there'll usually be some comments with questions. Uh, so if it's a topic of interest. You know, look at the comments that are there because there may be questions and answers by me or other people. Uh, or sometimes somebody will catch something I've done wrong and point that out. So it's good, useful information. So be sure to come back and, and check if it's a topic that's especially of interest to you. Look at the comments. I had a recent article on wet sanding in the February issue of the American Wood Turner. Uh, you can download that from my blog, uh, Mike Peace Wood Turning. Just JGI, just Google it and you'll, you'll find it. Um, you saw the inf most of the information first in a longer form on uh, on earlier uh, videos, and I'll also try to put a link to that uh, that article in in one or two of those videos down in the, the description. So anytime you watch a video, be sure to look sometimes down in the description. There might be some extra extra content uh, uh, provided for you. I know a lot of y'all are fans of Sam Angelo, the Wyoming wood turner, just as I am, and he had a recent video where he talked about the record powers. Uh, a contest uh, they call it um, picks for prizes competition and and obviously there was there was a what I'd call a, a backlash a lot of uh, viewers had some uh, you know some some negative comments and and, and I guess I want to uh, just make a point and please hear me out before you before you click off or before you start writing it writing a comment because I know this this seemed to stir up some some uh, uh, some feelings uh, Record Power shared some additional information with with Sam and me, and I thought I would, I'm not a spokesman for Record Power, but you know I do believe in their products, and they did send me some uh, send me those those chucks and jaws that I covered in in a recent video. But uh, they pointed out there were three reasons for the contest. Number one is they wanted to, to uh, alert the, the U.S. market, which they haven't been real heavily involved in. Uh, to try to get the word out on their chucks, and that's why they were using using the contest. They also want to get pictures of folks using their chucks to use in promotional uh, 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 promotional uh, marketing. I, I don't I don't see any problem with that. Um, and lastly, they wanted to encourage the use of their 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 chucks. Now, clearly, there was some 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 backlash, and and as a result of those comments, uh, what Record Power is is shared is they're going to open up another contest. And, and it, you know, some of the negativity was, was around things that there was a misunderstanding. Number one, you didn't have to own their chuck. You didn't have to have their, the packaging to be able to, to use it. Some of that was in the fine print and didn't, didn't necessarily get out there uh, in their, their marketing. Um, so they, they have uh, opened up a new contest. Details will be revealed later, but basically you don't have to use their chuck. You don't have to own one of their chucks to enter in the co uh, competition, and you might have an opportunity to win one of their chucks. And in that second contest, you won't win $3,400 worth of product like in this first, first contest, but you will have an opportunity to win one of their chucks, and they're going to have 40 prizes, 40 chucks they're going to issue. And as I say again, you don't have to use one of their chucks uh, to enter. So stay tuned for, for details on that contest which will run through April of, April 30th. So stay tuned for that, that contest. And I guess all I could uh, I want to end this note with is that you know Record Power uh, heard some of the concerns that were expressed in, in remarks to Sam's video. And if you missed that earlier earlier video I'll have a link to that playlist on, on it includes uh, those videos on wet sanding. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here.